following the departure of Carlo Ancelotti, who went to Real Madrid. Six points they've picked up since the start of October, so they are rock bottom of the form league. Just one win in their last 13. They're in 16th position right now, six points above the relegation zone. We will bring you post-match reaction from Anfield after Liverpool's win against Brentford and talk about that game, plus bring you the highlights from both matches today. But we've got to reflect on the breaking news. And Danny, I'm going to come to you first. Mm -hmm. So Rafa Benitez fired from Everton. What's your overall reaction to the situation at that club same old same old six premier league managers in in eight and a half years since david moyes left um obviously spent a lot of money in that time um benitez when he got the job there was obviously a lot of people against it you speak to everton fans they'll say yes we support everton we don't support benitez had a good start but then the problem that he had was that after the good start i think it was three three wins and a draw in his first four he he has a specific style which to a certain extent, you could say he's probably now getting outdated in, in the modern game. The problem was he had injuries then to key players that enabled him to play that he wanted to play to give him the good start. But he carried on regardless. And that, for me, was an issue. Then Marcel Brands goes, which was a big decision. It was either going to be Benitez or Brands. Marcel Brands goes. He's probably been the scapegoat for a while. All of a sudden, Benitez takes charge. He's got more authority. Dinu goes. Two new players come in for over $20 million each. Now he's been sacked. So it's same old, same old for Everton, unfortunately. That's what's so strange, Robbie, about the situation. As you say, Marcel Brands <laughs> mm. has gone, so the yeah. club backed Rafa Benitez in that one, what, yeah. beginning in December. Mm -hmm. Luca Dinho, one of their best players, the club backed Rafa Benitez over Dinho, who was sold on Thursday yeah. and played for Villa just yesterday. Mm. And now today, Rafa Benitez has been fired after yeah. giving him so much yeah. power. Mm. We, uh, the football club's in a mess, Rebecca, and, and the football's also in a mess because... Sometimes we see hirings and, and, and firings and, and people go. But this is, this is, and people will know who are in England around the football scene, this is a special football club. This is a club that potentially is top six. It's going to have a new stadium in 2025. It's got an owner that will put money in. It's got a fan base that's global. It, it could be a great job, yet it's in a mess. It's in a position where I think it will struggle to attract the kind of people they would want because it's not a job I don't necessarily think that everybody would jump at. Of course, there'll be, be, be candidates. And Rafa got himself in a situation where Marcel Brand threw him overboard, Lucadinha threw him overboard, and then you lose to Norwich, one win in 13, it's on you as a manager, and you look around, and there's nowhere else to go. He, he basically had to go after that, after that result yesterday. The, the problem that you have as well is that throughout all the managerial changes, there's been no consistency. There's, no, there's, there's been no idea of what Everton's identity is. You know, they, they don't have a specific style, they don't have a specific brand, to the point where yesterday you look at the Norwich game, within that squad, there was players from five different managers. You bring another manager in, he's probably got his own ideas again, so then you've got a number of players that are playing in the first team that probably couldn't or wouldn't want to adapt to Benita this time. Marcel the Brand was that guy, wasn't he, Danny? And, and, and obviously there was a power struggle and Rafa got him out. So, you know, who's running this football club? Is it the guy you put in charge of the football or are you going to have that technical director that says, this is what we're going to do? I also think that Brands was probably made redundant to a certain extent under Ancelotti because Ancelotti is very much his own man. And then what's happened is I think they've, they've got themselves to a point this season where it was like, we need a scapegoat. We need to get rid of somebody. And Marcel Brands was probably happy to go because he's getting all the, all the negative criticism for the players that have been brought in. And in all reality, I'd say under Benitez and under Ancelotti, he had nothing to do with the signings. How do the Everton fans now trust this board <coughs> to make That's the decision question. Yeah. on who next comes in? It's got to be the kind of decision that, I wouldn't say appeases the fans, but is, is right for the football club that has a longer-term plan and a long, longer-term vision and can ignite this football club to back where it is. It? OK, let me give you some names that are already coming yeah. out. Lampard. Yeah. Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Graham Wayne, Potter. Wayne Rooney is, is a bit ollie, a bit sort of, for me, a bit romantic, a bit early in the, in the day for him, doing a brilliant job at Derby. Frank Lampard, not quite sure it's the right fit for him. Graham Potter, I like. I'll throw a couple, one, two at you. I'll throw in Ralph Hasenhüttl at Southampton. And I'll throw one more of a man over in Italy who loves playing English football, Jose Mourinho. Oh, <laughs> Jose, Jose that, Mourinho. Is that not similar to Rafa Benitez? Somebody that possibly is outdated that comes back and tries again? In a way, but 
he would bring something back to this football club that it's, that it's missing. The, the, oh, you've got to love the, a bit of Joe's there in the Premier League. The issue is, is that we all know the history of, of, mm. of Everton. We know how well supported they are. We know what a great club it is in terms of the outside looking in. It's not as attractive as it once was. It's not attractive at all. No. If, if you're an ambitious manager... Really? It's not as, yeah, it's you, not as ambi... A yeah, wonderful it's a new stadium, Everton yeah. You've got to get there first. Yeah, you've got to grab... They'll have two more managers <laughs> before, before <laughs> now and then. Fair point. And, and you look at someone like Graham Potter, whose star is rising, who I think should be on the radar. He's got to gamble. Can I go in there and clear things up and get this thing right and start playing the football that we know we can and start having success? Who I do you want? Graham, you Graham Potter, you look at and you think's brilliant. I wouldn't leave Brighton for Everton if I'm Graham Potter. Yeah, I, I You've got to be careful. You have to really? Be you have to be careful of your I reputation. Would. Graham Potter's reputation is soaring. The mess behind the scenes at Everton, they, you can be one of the best managers around, but if things aren't great behind the scenes, then you don't stand a chance. It's as simple as that. So you would? I, I would. Graham Potter would be my number one choice. And if I'm Graham Potter... As good as things have gone at Brighton, I'm going away. Because if you don't take the Everton job as the Brighton manager, yeah. I mean, Brighton fans were, were, were booing him not long ago. Uh, if he doesn't take the Everton yeah, job, right. then arguably yeah. he'd look back on that and be like, oh, my God, why did well, I take the Everton job? He's then waiting for one of the big six. And is he going to get one of the big six? The problem is, as a manager, you're only as good as your last job. That's it. So we look at a former Everton manager. Left Everton, unbelievable. Goes to Manchester United... His managerial reputation is decimated in under 10 months. But he's built it back up, David Moyes. He's built it back up, but how long's it taken him? Graham Potter now has built this scenario where he's at Brighton, where he'd be like, OK, I can do to a certain extent what I want to do here. My next step has to be, has to be the right step, because if he goes to Everton and it doesn't go according to plan, which there's every chance of that happening, then everything that he's done, his reputation just goes down, and that's where I think managers will think twice about going to Everton. What about Rooney? Like Robbie says, the the, uh, uh, the the Solskjaer scenario, too soon for him, in my opinion. I think he, he's going to be a wonderful manager in time to come, but I think it's too soon for him. OK, well, it looks like they're going to give it to Duncan Ferguson in a caretaker capacity, mm -hmm. uh, certainly until they've decided to make their move. And Duncan Ferguson knows all about that job. He has done it before Everton now looking for a new job. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.